everyone. I really wanted to pop on today and talk to you about a topic that is near and dear to me because I'm a marketing genius and I love doing social media. As you probably know, Tracy and I own a, as part of our business, a so social media agency where we do done for you social media. And I want to share with you this topic today that I really believe is not talked about very often in the marketplace in the arena of social media. And that is that there are two layers of social media and how when you understand both of these layers of social media and you use them correctly, you have to use both of them, that they'll dramatically increase your bottom line to your business. Because what I have found is that most um, business owners only use one layer of social media and then they wonder why social media doesn't work for them um, and so they quit doing it. So I'm gonna share with you hi um what these two layers are and how you need to layer them in order to achieve the results that you want in your business so the first layer of social media is your foundational layer that is the la that is a layer you use for brand awareness for the know like and trust factor to kick in so truly your social media is all about creating brand awareness and visibility it's not necessarily meant as a standalone lead generation tool per se. Really what it's meant for in today's, um, in today's market space is really a brand awareness, visibility, know, like, and trust factor. I just read something the other day where it said, it used to be seven times. I taught a course for years about how you need to seven touches, right? Um, before someone really feels like they have the no like and trust factor to your brand before they'll purchase from you on average. Now it's up to like 26 times, okay? So that's where the foundational layer of social media comes in, where you're consistently putting out social media that is templated to your brand colors, your logos, etc. And so what we do, for example, um, for many of our clients is like say, for example, on Facebook, we have four different templates for them that we use on Facebook that are all different variations, but they have the same color of their brand, the colors, the same logo, etc. And so then we just change out images, maybe quotes or different news or whatever it is that we're doing for them. But here's the thing. Here's what happens. Um, when you do this consistently day after day or every couple days, people start to recognize your brand. Like you recognize Coca-Cola is black, red, and white, or Pepsi is blue. That is your foundational layer of social media. That is the no like and trust factor that you have going on that must go on all the time consistently. You can't just throw it out one day and, oh, I better do my social media, so I'm gonna do it a week from now on Thursday and I throw something out. That's not consistency. That is not um foundational level social media. So that's the first thing. You must have um, a templated type of social media with your colors, with your logos, so that people absolutely 100% recognize that it's you. And it's really interesting. I'm gonna share with you a story with one of our clients that just recently happened. One of our clients, we recently took over her social media. And she really just wasn't doing much with her social media. It was hit or miss, there was no templates, there was no, it was just, kind of a cluster, right? And she's amazing and what she offers is amazing. So she, we started putting it, we put together her social media templates, we started posting for her, just her foundational layer. We hadn't even gotten to the next layer yet and I'm gonna share with you what that is in a minute because this is super important. And we started putting it out and someone that's on her social media, a gentleman that was following her, that saw her start posting this foundational layer of social media. And pretty soon, all of a sudden, he reached out to her and he said, hey, I like what you're saying. I like what you're doing. I, I love how I'm seeing this every day. Um, I might be interested in what you're doing. Can you tell me more? And she said, sure. And guess what? She got a brand new client where she's gonna be teaching a workshop to 20 of his employees. So that's just foundational layer. Foundational layer is just to submit the no like, and trust factor so that they see your brand day after day, the same branding. So that's the first thing. Now, the, the second layer comes into effect, and when you do both of these combine, combine, not by themselves, but combine, this is where it radically impacts your bottom line. The second layer layers on top of the foundational layer, so you must always do the foundational layer consistently. You have to be on a schedule and do this, or you have to have someone do it for you. In today's space, you have to show up. The second layer is, 
only used when you are running some sort of campaign, a marketing campaign. So if you have a marketing campaign, whether it's a new funnel that you put out, and a funnel could be anything. A funnel could be a simple funnel, like Facebook Lives that you're doing to announce a new workshop or a new product. Or it could be a complicated funnel where you have a webinar, you have social media that's attached to it, you might have TV, radio. I mean, the, the sky's the limit. It, and I can't tell you on, on a Facebook Live or on a, a LinkedIn video or whatever that might be what exactly your campaign will look like because you're all individuals. You can reach out to me and I'm happy to hop on a quick call, a complimentary call and talk to you about it. But at the end of the day, your social media is only part, we're not talking your foundational social media, we're talking about this other piece now. It's your campaign social media, right? It's your second layer. So that social media comes into play when you're running another a campaign, a marketing campaign. And that social media is usually a different flavor than your foundational social media that's still going on here because you're still, that no like and trust factor is still always going on, right? Like, you know, it's kind of like when you go to um, like a, a, like a yogurt shop, right? You always have yogurt and then you add little pieces on top. So if you think about it like that, those little pieces, you always have the yogurt, that's your foundation. Those little pieces, right, are like your like extra special flavors, and you change that a lot, lot every time you go. But you always have yogurt, so that's the same thing. So if you think of it like that, when you have a marketing campaign, you have your marketing social media layer that lay, layers on top of your foundational. So you have two things going on at once, two different types of social media, because the social media in your marketing campaign will be related to whatever that marketing campaign is. So that images and the way that you come across will be related to that marketing campaign. They'll still have your logo, but they're, they'll be different. They may stand out in a different way, but people will recognize them and associate them with you because you've had this foundational layer of social media going on all the time and it's still going on. You don't replace your um, campaign social media layer with your foundational layer of social media. You do both, right? Because you constantly have to have that no like and trust factor going on. You can never take that away. And that's the difference. This is the difference. When you understand, when you understand that you always have your foundational social media going on, that's constantly building the no like and trust factor, you're showing up day after day, rain or shine, no matter what, right? Or whatever your marketing schedule is. If it's only three days a week, then you show up those Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Those people know that you're going to show up like clockwork. It's instinctively they know that, you know, Sally Joe's showing up. And then when you have a marketing campaign that you're putting out that you might do, you know, once a month or you may do quarterly a launch, I don't know. It depends on what, what you do for your business. That is when you add this extra layer of social media and it, the flavor is tied to the actual marketing campaign that you're doing. That's how you make a difference. That's how you make a splash. That's how you radically increase your bottom line. Don't make the mistake of one, um, getting rid of your foundational social media when you're doing a marketing campaign. You need both. And then second of all, don't make the mistake of not doing foundational social media and just only doing social media when you're doing a marketing campaign. That's, that's the key. You need them both to radically increase your bottom line because you need the no like and trust factor and then you need the social media to bring a, the second layer to bring awareness to the marketing campaign you're doing. So, my suggestion to you is, is to take some time, you know, whether it's over a weekend or you want to take an hour, you know, in an afternoon uh, and pencil some time into your schedule and really do an analysis of what you're doing with your social media because social media is all about building brand awareness, visibility as a foundational layer and then as a secondary layer, it has to be related to your marketing campaign and make sure that you have both components because when you do, and when you're doing this correctly, the sky is the limit. It will massively increase your bottom line. People will come to you and they'll purchase from you. I am telling you, um, the, the um, business owners that run campaigns have, make way more money when they do it with a foundational layer of social media than the ones who just come out of the gate, they don't have any foundational layer of social media going on, 
and they just come out of the gate with a marketing campaign, people don't know them. They don't recognize them. It's not as, you know, there's the no like and trust factor has not been built up. So they have a harder time making as much money. That's the big difference here. So I highly encourage you to do a social media audit. Um, if you want, I am happy because I love doing this. I, I actually doing social media audits is fun for me. It's, it's like a, a hobby of mine. I enjoy it. I, and sometimes just go online and like find the person that I look at all their social media. I'm, I'm crazy, right? <laughs> so if you would like a complimentary social media audit, reach out to me. I'm happy to um, assist you. I'm happy to hop on the phone with you and chat with you for a few minutes. Um, get your social media um, accounts, networks, whatever. And um, I'll do a quick social media audit for you and give you a little bit of feedback that's completely complimentary. All right. Have an incredible day and I will see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.